August 27, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 550 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Ukraine appears to be making a pre-winter push. According to at least one Kremlin-leaning source, multiple attacks were attempted against Ukrainians in the front between Svartov and Kupiansk. Shelling was notably lighter on numerous fronts. Dnieper line. Shelling exchanged between both armies. Both sides made some successful strikes using drones. The Kremlin fired less than 250 shells into the right bank in the last day, a notable reduction. Ten settlements were attacked, with at least three civilian casualties. Zaporizhia front. Kremlin mouthpieces, as well as Ukrainian outlets, are reporting that Ukraine has made an attack on the town of Novoprokopivka, two miles south of Robotyne. Ukraine may have made attacks along the Morky Yoli. Kremlin shelling on this front was almost exclusively related to ongoing attacks. East Front, Donetsk. Shelling here was front dispersed, though still lighter than this time last year, by far. Kremlin attacks at Marienka and north of Avdiivka were both repulsed by Ukrainian defenders. Bakhmut area. A Kremlin attack at Andiivka was repulsed. Another Kremlin attack northwest of Krasnohora on the M03 was reported, with no line changes. Except for a couple of airstrikes behind Ukrainian lines near Klishchivka, shelling here was also mostly matching with ongoing attacks. Oskil border front. Biloharivka area took dispersed targeted shelling against generalized Ukrainian positions. At the village of Novoyharivka, west-southwest of Svartov, the Kremlin made another attempt to steal land from Ukraine. Shelling north of the Lyman area pocket was extremely dispersed, and again generally aligned with ongoing or very recent combat events. Neither side reported any changes around Kupiansk. Northern border. Drones impacted into several regions in Russia. Shelling in this area was light for the second day in a row, however from Chernihiv border through the Kharkiv borders with Russia, 25 different settlements were struck. Black Sea. As of last report the Kremlin has eight combat ships on patrol. There are two missile carriers offering a total of 24 caliber missiles in one salvo. Reports on the drone strikes over the weekend involving 42 drones suggest several dozen Kremlin casualties, the destruction of munitions, and the destruction of vehicles and equipment. Ukraine world related. Winter weather is about a month away. Poland's rail line controls were hacked, likely by Russians. A Ukrainian high jumper has taken the world championship gold. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.